All right, how do we predict the product of aldol reactions? And again, we're gonna stick with aldol addition, recognizing that um, aldol condensation, we're just gonna put a double bond between things when we're done. But let's do it with the aldol addition because it's the hardest one to see. So how do you do it? Well, ideally your professor would give you a ketone and ask you what it, or aldehyde and ask what it does with itself. But let's be hardcore here and let's consider both. Well, if we've got both, we're going to have to figure out we're going to treat one as the enol and we're going to treat one as the ketone and that will dictate our product. And since we've got two different ketones here, we've got to consider both scenarios. So in scenario one, so we'll say let's compound one and compound two. Compound one here is going to act like the enolate. Because it's going to act like the enolate, it's going to carry the final ketone. So what we need to identify on our starting compound that's going to form the enol is the alpha carbon. This alpha carbon here is going to form a double form a bond with the ketone in the next complex. So it's going to form what we're going to call the beta carbon relative to our final ketone. So let's draw that bond between the alpha and the beta. From there, all we have to do is draw what's attached to the alpha and the beta. So the alpha here has that group and that group. So you can see here, I've drawn basically this compound with a bond connected to the alpha. For this one, we need to draw whatever carbons are bound to the beta carbon, in this case, the cyclohexane. If we're doing aldol addition, we're gonna replace the ketone here with an OH group. If we are doing aldol condensation, we're going to replace it with a double bond. Now, how are we going to know which of these alpha carbons we're going to work with because they're two? Well, we're going to start with the more saturated, the most substitute one because that's going to be the more acidic one. So this is going to be one of the product forms if we do an aldol condensation or if we do an aldol addition, this will be what's formed. And again, we're going to need to know based on the conditions we're given. If it's neutral, it'll be the addition. If it's acidic or basic, it's going to be the condensation. We now need to consider the other scenario and this is the case where number two forms the enolate or the enol. In this case, this is going to be, since this is symmetric, this is going to be one of the alpha carbons and this here is going to be the beta carbon relative to the ketone that is formed. So let's draw our bond between the alpha and the beta. The beta here has a methyl group hanging off wrong color. This propyl group and if we're doing the aldol addition this ketone here is going to need to become an alcohol. In terms of this carbon we need to draw everything that's attached to the alpha. So one, two, three, four, five, six and we're going to have the ketone still be the ketone that was in here. Now this is the aldol addition. If we were running under neutral conditions this is what we would get. If we're running under acidic or basic we would end up with the double bond here. Either case, hopefully you're seeing this. So to predict the product, identify based on the final compound, what are gonna be the final alpha and beta carbons. If you've got two asymmetric complexes, or you've got two different ketones or aldehydes you're working with, you're gonna have to consider both scenarios. One where one compound is acting like the enol, and the other one's acting like the enol. Work out, go ahead and draw the bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon, depending on what you're defining as forming the enol and which ones you're, form, you're defining as staying as a ketone, and then draw everything else away from those carbons, and that'll give you the final product. Again, keep in mind, we're gonna end up with mixtures of cis-trans. We're gonna favor the one that puts the largest groups trans. And if we're gonna do aldol addition, we're gonna get racemic mixtures of the OH groups, so both the R and the S configurations.